What's up, my good people? You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all taking care of y'all set today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby. Oh, everything. So on the note, my good people, let the video take off. And I'm going to like catch up at the end, baby. Let's go. Appearance of Gabby Dixon. Dixon's been missing for nearly nine months. And now the Bibb Sheriff's Office believes her remains were found this afternoon. Jasmine nine Lee spoke months, with neighbors man. in Monroe County nine who reacted months. to the investigation as it unfolded on their street. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office believes remains found in Monroe County are that of a missing making 18 year old. I'm in real disbelief. Real disbelief. Shirley Appling lives near where construction workers found their remains back in the woods off Highway 87 in Baldwin Road. Jim Middlebrooks lives on Baldwin Road too. He says he's been following Dixon's case for the past year. All this time that they've been looking for her on the news and the search team and all, and she wind up right here all the way from Macon to Juliet up in the, the it's, it's, it was very shocking. Monroe County Sheriff's Office said around 2.30 Wednesday afternoon, they were told by the crew about a body at the work site. Their office then notified the Bibb County Sheriff's Office they're now handling the case. I ride my UTV through here all the time and never smelt anybody, never smelt anything on noticed anything out the way. Neighbors were shocked a crime and discovery like this could happen on their street. I'm shocked. I'm kind of scared. Because anything that happen, I ain't know nothing like that around here. It's, it's surprising. It's really surprising that the body been here all this time. The remains have been sent to the GBI to be possibly identified. In Monroe County, Jasmine Lee, 13 WMAZ News. Bibb County Sheriff's Office told her they're, quote, 99% certain those remains are Gabby's. We also know tonight two people could make court appearances tomorrow, both charged in Gabby Dixon's 18 year old Jatarvius Price, who currently sits behind bars, facing a conspiracy to commit murder charge. Price was arrested on November 16th. He was charged with making false statements and tampering with evidence for 18th. That same month, the father of Dixon's children was also arrested. One month before Gabby's disappearance, arrest right, warrant showed people, Reginald you know Harris saying, choked uh, her and threatened her with a gun. The warrant said Harris, Harris threatened to kill me. her if she left him. On November right. 7th, Harris you know, was arrested and labeled as man. a possible suspect Nine in the months, case man. due to testimonial you know evidence from Dixon's right family. He is also in jail. They smell nothing. You know what I'm saying? They said all that long time they've been over there pouring slabs, of, pouring out slabs of concrete. You could dang smell nothing. I used to do that type of work. That's why I know they were pulling walkway, driveway. You know what I'm saying? Wherever they at, they was just doing construction work. And that, you know what I'm saying? They ain't smell nothing. You know what I'm saying, man? He either had to bury her deep, but construction work, the work of me, I guess he had to go in the woods and take a piss. And he probably, you know, he seen that body. You feel what I'm saying? Cause a lot of woods, ain't no telling. He probably walked in there to take a piss. The out those bathroom probably was, you know what I'm saying, booked up. So he probably went to the wood, take a piss, and stumble up on the body. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, man? This dude was jealous, man, you know what I'm saying? Because she was writing her parents. And But main thing that caught my eyes when I had heard her parents speaking, the, the, uh, her, the, the girl that's 18 years old, her daughter told her grandma, say, I seen my mama laying in blood. You feel me? Yeah. The daughter said, I seen my mama laying in blood. And the old girl broke down with the crime. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because the dude was violating. He was he was already abusing her, right? And so, and he used to tell her, say, you ain't got no proof. You feel me? But some type of way, what he was doing to her, right, it wouldn't never show up for no abuse, like you no know, bruises and stuff on her face or nothing. You feel me? I don't know what he was doing. But one day he did bruise her because she had a little mark over her eye, eyelash or something. And you know what I'm saying? She was in the hospital, right? And uh, she was so wise and so smart, she broke it down and say, this how she died. You feel me? I guess she seen it. I guess God gave it to her. You feel me? But she was trying to seek help. But she would never tell nobody because her, her and her mama wasn't too much speaking. Her and her uh, uh, 
blood sisters, they wasn't too much getting along. You, you feel what I'm saying? Because he had this young lady isolated for away from her people and made like that. She wasn't up to no good to me. Ain't nobody going to want you but me. You feel me? He had a, a young girl gunpoint and everything. You feel me? And at the same time, he went and took. No, he came to the hospital, right? And he brought her flowers. And she said in her diary, she said in the diary, she said that uh that he ain't never brought me flowers. So he must be really sorry. He ain't never bought me flowers. One time he bought me flowers when it's a, a holiday. You feel me? And she just kept writing saying, you know, I'm trying to seek help. But I ain't know what to say. I ain't know what to do. I was scared to leave him. You feel me? And she had another boyfriend. Y'all seen the two guys. The one, the last dude they showed. That's uh, two kids by that dude. Uh, the other dude was uh, uh, a boyfriend or something. One of them, I know she was dating a new dude. But anyway, he was he was falling behind them shooting, shooting at the girl while his two kids was in the car because she was in the dude. With a new man. You feel what I'm saying? So he was trying to, you know what I'm saying? He was dumping slugs at him. You feel me? But at the same time, she kept saying, wow, you know, I live to see another day. But to me, man, he must be ill sorry because he bought me flowers. You know what I'm saying? And then she said, nah, I laid myself to rest and he bought me flowers. That means she had seen herself getting murdered by her baby daddy. He wouldn't let her go nowhere. You feel me? It was God trying to speak to the young lady to tell her to book up and leave, right? But she didn't know how to do it. She she wanted help. She was seeking help. She was praying for help, she say. But help would never come knocking at her front door. You feel me? So... You know what I'm saying, man, young ladies? If something come to your mind like that, girl, how this young lady, she predicted what was going on, what happened to her in her life, please, if it's a sign, give and take, telling you this, girl, leave that dude. Don't be scared. You feel me? You either going to die or you going to fight until you die. You got to make that choice, sir. You feel me? Don't be scared of no man. A man, I don't want, you know what I'm saying? When a man be on a woman, man, He's a sucker to me. He's a coward. You feel me? I don't like a man beating on a woman. You feel what I'm saying? If that woman don't want you no more, nigga Houdini. Uh-oh. I said, I ain't trying to say it, but you know, I was, I'm getting kind of heated because you know what I'm saying? I don't like no men just jumping on no woman. You feel me? But but certain young women, y'all don't know how to tell y'all stories. But this young lady, she told her story through her diary, right? But she could never tell her story to her mama, to her sister, to her cousin, to her aunties, to her uncles. She could never explain that to her peoples. You feel me? She could never explain that to her people, man. So anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying, man. Uh, this is a sad situation, you know what I'm saying. Most blessed, most prayer go out to you, their family, to their siblings, and to the babies and everything, man. Nah, for the family, it's time for y'all to hold on to the kids tight because uh, even though the mama I ain't trying to have no disrespect to the mama, you know you and your daughter wasn't too much hitting it all what she was saying in her diary and writing her little own little thing. So, you know what I'm saying? I hope that, you know what I'm saying, uh, you pay attention now, you know what I'm saying, to your child completely. Like, now nah, you can't pay attention to your child, so pay attention to her kids now because now the kids with you. So whatever ridge that you and your daughter had against one another, y'all drew that red, that uh, that ridge against each other, or she did, or who she did, or whatever. You feel me? I don't know. I don't know y'all circumstance. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm just trying to say, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the rest of the kids and y'all draw a, a wedge against each other. And the best way to do that come to the church but find a good church and the church man I watch it called First Church Lord Pastor Gino Jennings you feel me 
So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, baby. And smash that what doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone. <laughs>